Okay, the end of study Cleopatra analysis was just published in Lancet Oncology. And what we found was that 37% of the patient at eight years had an overall survival, which is really incredible. And, and that was with the pertuzumab addition. Those patients that just had trastuzumab was a 23% eight-year survival, which is still good. So if you don't have pertuzumab, at least a quarter of the patients will still be alive. And there was a very large tail on the curve with a lot of patients out pretty far up to 10 years when we cut off the data collection. So it's possible that some of these patients may be cured. What was done in that study is most of the clinicians treated patients with six to eight cycles of chemotherapy and then stopped the chemo and then treated with a HER2 targeted therapy after. And just to note that in Cleopatra, endocrine therapy was not used. So in, in clinical practice, what people are doing during the maintenance phase are also including endocrine therapy. Now in the, the paper that we just published, we also looked to see if we could figure out who these long-term, what we call long-term responders were looking at the progression-free survival curve. And we, we cut it at about three years because that's when the curve started flattening out. And some of the factors that were associated with long-term survival were tumors that were pic 3 ca wild type. In other words, they didn't have the mutation. Patients who had non-visceral disease, patients who had a longer time from their primary diagnosis to metastatic disease. So some of these things were associated with a better outcome. But I think we, need, we still need more work in that area to see which patients, number one, will survive longer, and two, can we ever stop this HER2-targeted therapy because the patients are on for a very long time? And then in the group that were had the, the tumors that had the PIK3CA mutation, those patients did not do as well on either arm, but they still had a benefit from bertuzumab. So ongoing studies really should be looking at adding a PI3 kinase inhibitor or AKT inhibitor to that group to see if we can improve the survival in that subset. 